We are here where we stayed last night, slept in this parking lot next to this beautiful fountain over here at the RV and Motor Home Hall of Fame. This thing goes not only out with slides, it goes up. This is a two-story rig. We actually got one of those slushies. It's supposed to be red, white, and blue, but we mixed it. Uh, Well, good morning guys. Good morning. <laughs> it's actually like a whole day's past. Uh, we drove up to Elkhart, Indiana. And if you're familiar with the RV industry, this is kind of home to many uh, manufacturers like Thor and Nexus and a bunch of other companies. Uh, Grand Design, I believe too. But we are here where we stayed last night. Slept in this parking lot next to this beautiful fountain over here at the RV and Motor Home Hall of Fame. So we're gonna go inside, check that out. Hopefully they let us film. We wanna take you guys with us and uh, check out some of the history of the RV van life world. So we're on our way in. There's a few rigs still parked here from last night. But look at this one. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> that is a Philadelphia Eagles decked out rig. Pretty awesome. We're in. The place is pretty big, but we're gonna start kind of in the modern rig here. I'm not really gonna show you much of this. You guys have seen all the modern rigs, but we're gonna get over to the history and show you guys that. So we lied. We said we weren't gonna show you a modern rig. This, I don't have words. This is insane. Did you guys notice right here? Look at this, there's stairs. I mean, you guys can see around me how amazing this is. Double oven. Gigantic fridge, uh, biggest TV I've ever seen in the RV. But look at this. Look at it. This thing goes not only out with slides, it goes up. This is a two story rig. We've seen this online, yeah. not this exact one, but the idea of this. You can see how it goes up. Yeah, I mean, because you can see like there's open space right here. Because this is a, uh, this is just obviously like a demo model. So you can see there's open space. Uh, so they're just showing like the possibilities of what the future is. But that is crazy. <laughs> a shower with uh, every shower head you could ever think of on there. And then look at this shagging wow. bedroom. It, it really is. It's like an 80s <laughs> bedroom. On the roof. <laughs> But you could see, like, because this is just, like I said, just a demo, you know, here they have on display. Yeah. This is something they're working on in the future, but look at these walls. This is insane. Well, there's modern for you, huh? Wow. <laughs> So we're not going to go through every rig, but here is the oldest travel trailer in the world. The Earl Travel Trailer and Model Ford, Model T, Ford. Here's a little piece of history, a 1985 Fleetwood Bounder. And this is the prototype of the Bounder, which put storage down below on the outside. So this was the first rig that did that and kind of changed the industry. So pretty amazing to be in something like this. So if y'all are familiar with Keep Your Daydream, this is the Bluebird bus that they donated here to the Hall of Fame. So let's check it out. Well, we're in the Bluebird. 
Look at there, the iconic Route 66 upholstery. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's a pretty awesome rig. We're back in the bedroom area. And here's the battery system they put in. Little season 10 on their YouTube channel. Look at that, big Victron battery setup. So a little new with a little old. So look at this GMC motorhome. It's a 1974 and Brittany was commenting on the colors. The color is pineapple yellow. Why don't they still do that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the harsh lights everybody, but look at that. You had a little bittersweet color action too there at the end. And this thing is pretty dang cool. <laughs> With the A-track player in, in the front. <laughs> We finished up at the museum. It was really cool. So if you're ever coming through Elkhart uh, to get some service, if you have, you know, go right to the factory to one of the manufacturers or just passing through in your rig, uh, they are members of Harvest Host, but I believe you don't even have to be Harvest Host to stay here. Uh, you can stay for free overnight, check out the museum, support them for letting you crash for the night. And they do have hookups too. I think it's 40 bucks uh, for full hookups if you, if you need them. But really uh, recommend and if you have an RV, swing it through and check it out because it is really cool seeing the history. On that note though, we have no idea what we are doing. We literally have no game plan except we're headed to Vermont and we have plenty of time. So we're gonna figure that out and we'll see you guys shortly when we, I don't know, come up with some kind of plan where we're going, where we're staying. Holiday weekend, so I don't know. Well, we think we came up with a game plan. Of course, we had to stop. Get a little bit of Starbucks refresher because we had to get Brittany's Starbuck mug. So she collects all the Starbucks mugs if you haven't yeah, if you haven't been to uh, around our channel for a while. She gets one in every state we go in because they have I guess I've, what's it called? Been there. Been there series. Been there series. You so. can get them at Disney and stuff too. So we uh, figured out our game plan. We're going into Ohio. And we're going to American Winery and Brewery, so we got a couple hour drive. Welcome to Ohio, everybody. <laughs> we ended up at a Harvest Host only about two hours from where we were, and it is called American Winery and Brewery. And boy, does it look pretty cool here. So let's check it out. See that? <laughs> Do you see that? I might have to try one of the red, white, and blue wine slushies. So we got a little flight here we're gonna start with and then we're gonna get into probably a slushy. Not too bad out here, a little warm. So we're gonna sip on these, enjoy these.
tried a bunch of different wines. They all have really good fruit flavors. And we tried three sangrias, which obviously are wine, but phenomenal. So good. It's gonna be an expensive harvest house because <laughs> there's some really good stuff here. <laughs> So we finished up our flight. We actually got one of those slushies. It's supposed to be red, white, and blue, but we mixed it. Uh, so I'll probably just throw a picture here so you guys can see what it looked like. Uh, this place is really awesome. Very patriotic, awesome owners. Live music here shortly, but we're gonna cook up some, uh, I think chicken sausages, uh, which those are from Eat Well today. Yes, so we're gonna are. cook those up. Some onions, peppers, uh, some 100% beef franks, and just kind of make them typical kind of camping meal and enjoy the evening. So this is our little setup that we do with the uh, whatever you call this thing. I mean I just call it an air fryer. But air it fryer? It's a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah it's like a five in one. Set it up there and Brittany made her chicken sausages. So along our travels east Brittany's been looking for a fair and the owner in here told us that there is a fair that started today a mile down the road and it's actually the biggest fair in the whole Ohio region. So we got pretty lucky. So tomorrow morning we're going to go check that out. I uh, probably won't take you guys with us to that. Um, and then we're going to hit the road and continue heading east. Just ahead, you will go Turn to Canada. Right US Route 2 East. It's the border right there. Literally, the border to Canada is right there, but we're turning right, which is going to lead us over the bridge to Continue Vermont. On US Route 2 